the Oak Run Band information video for all of our Oak Run beginning band parents. First, let me introduce myself. My name is Anna Zintek, and I teach the trombone, French horn, euphonium, and tuba beginner classes. This video will include information such as our teacher and band websites, where to find those, our syllabus, how we use Canvas in band, and generally overall information about the Oak Run Unicorn Band program. You will receive more information regarding a band uniform at a later time. Let's go over our teacher websites first. You'll find in our teacher websites that we have included a syllabus and general information about the classes as well our con as our contact information and schedule. Most band information can be found on our oakrunband.com website and will include such things as our band calendar, supplies information, and private lesson teacher information. If you will take a look at our beginning band syllabus, you will notice there is a book you will need to purchase for your child if you have not yet done so. All woodwind and brass instrument students will need the Ed Sueda band method for their spe child's specific instrument. All percussionists will need Simple Steps for Successful Beginning Percussion by Ken and Wiley. All students will also need a black binder with about 20 pieces of paper and a pencil in it just for band. Students who are at school face-to-face -face, will also need a bottle of hand sanitizer that can fit in their case. Of course, they all need their instruments and their instru so instrument supplies at this time. The general course objectives for beginning band include the following. To display and pro perform proper instrumental technique, knowledge of and use of music theory, develop critical listening skills, broadening self-expression, the opportunity for cultural growth, develop of physical conditioning and physical and mental discipline. Course requirements include participation in both the classroom and in concert, hand position and posture, music theory, counting, playing major and chromatic scales, and we also have digital assessments contained throughout the Canvas assignments which may include recordings and pictures. And we also have auditions for middle school advanced bands at the end of the year. Please refer to the student handbook about grading policy for 6th through 8th graders. Major grades for band are 55% for uh, major grades and daily grades are 45%. Hi, my name is Mr. Alvarado. I teach beginning percussion and beginning trumpet class. Uh, there are two important dates that the RMS beginner band students need to know. The first date is a Tuesday, uh, December 15th, which is the date of our holiday concert. That concert is going to be in the ORMS gym. Uh, the other important date is Saturday, May 15th of 2021, and this date is our annual Spring Fling concert. That was at New Braunfels High School um, in their competition gym. All right, now let's talk a little bit about Canvas. We were asked to utilize Canvas by the district, um, so we're going to take a closer look with this video. All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about Canvas and how we use it in a band. So first off, this is a Canvas app. You should probably put it down here in your toolbar, okay? The little red circle thing. Now in band, um, it's going to take you to the home page, and this will have all of your classes over here on courses, right? So you're going to click on your corresponding band class. We have a little template here, and the way it's going to work is we have a home page, okay? And you can read this if you want to, but it kind of explains how it works. Every unit we have is going to be two weeks worth of classes, okay? So we're going to have five lessons in that unit. Um, if you're not sure, like on a date, you can click on the unit. So the first day of class is going to be lesson one, which is either the 24th or the 25th, depending on if you're A or a B day, okay? So, you can check the date if you're not sure what lesson one means, right there on top. And we're basically going to give you an outline of what we're going to do in class, okay? I'm going to go back and I'm going to look at lesson two real quick because it has some videos. So, lesson two is this day. It's the next couple days. And the way it's going to work is, if you'll see, remote learner Zoom link, um, those are for the remote learners. Every day, um, the remote learners are going to have a link to click on to zoom into the class. Okay? And if you see red remote learners, remote is red. So if you see red ink, that probably applies to you mostly. Okay? Um, we're going to be doing a lot of the same things in class. So how to sit in band, we would watch that video in class together, but the remote learners need to watch it at home on their own. And if you click these little blue links, all these blue, um, baby blue links are important because there's something you have to go view okay so this tells you how to send man all right so all these videos we would watch the first day we even have links right here to like lessons if you're interested you can click on that and it'll take you to our lessons page on our website and you can kind of check out you know what the lesson situation is okay 
next thing we need to talk about on this page is our assignment. So there's always going to be an assignment pretty much every day for both remote and in-class learners, and you're going to do the same assignment. So like right here, it says Unit 1, Lesson 2, Theory Note Submission. So what we would do is we click on it, read the instructions. Um, it's not open yet because we're not there on the day yet. So that's how you get to the assignment for that day, okay? And that's pretty much how you navigate through the important things for um, Canvas. Now, another way you can look at things, so that's our home button. You can go to Pages if you want to. And Pages is going to list like Lesson 1 and Lesson 2. It'll list all the lessons that we have, okay, that are going to be coming up or that were before. So you can do that if you want to. You can also view just the assignments that are due. So like we have a Lesson 1 assignment and a Lesson 2 assignment. And it doesn't have all that other stuff included. You can also go to Module if you want. And this will kind of list everything that we've talked about. So this will be the page up here. The module section is a little confusing. I would try to stay away from it unless you know kind of how to navigate it. But Pages is the place to go, okay? That has everything you need. So if you go to Pages and you click on the right day, August 24th or August 26th, whatever day we're on, boom, you have our lessons for the day. And that's kind of how we're going to navigate through Band Canvas. Thanks. Hi, everybody. My name is Adrian Esquivel, and I teach beginner flute, clarinet, bass clarinet, and saxophone. I'm going to talk a little bit about attendance. Attendance will be taken for each period. The ORMS band department will follow the guidelines set by our, our administration for attendance. The best form of communication is through email, and we'll be utilizing that a lot this year. If you have not received any emails from us within the last couple of weeks, please let us know. Our emails are found on our website, uh, so we can add you to them. We send regular Monday mail that has information about concerts, what we're doing that week, and any updates. Now that we've gone through some suggested talking points, uh, we'd like to give you some information about the beginning band classes itself. All beginners should be making so sounds at this point, which is pretty exciting. They should be also taking their instruments home now to practice. Whether remote or face-to-face, -face, please let your children show you what they have learned so far. Parents, please encourage your children to practice at home. It's going to help a lot. Remote students should make every effort to attend Zooms so they can be part of the class and get better at playing their instruments. It is important for students to practice what they have learned every day. Remote students should also make sure they're doing their theory, rhythm, and worksheets every day that they have them. If students have trouble with their theory and reading music, please have them send us an email and we'll help them as soon as possible. If your child is interested in private lessons, which are one-on-one -on -one meetings with a professional on their instrument, uh, please visit our website under the Private Lessons tab on oakrunband.com. It'll have a whole bunch of information and you can contact private lesson teachers directly regarding that. We have had such a wonderful year um, so far, and we look forward to working with your child. Thank you. Go Unicorns!